Mel B has claimed she was unaware what Amazon was during her abusive and controlling marriage to Stephen Belafonte. The 48-year-old Spice Girl was married to film producer Stephen from 2007 until 2017 and shares daughter Madison with him. Mel has become a campaigner and spokesperson for abuse survivor charity Women's Aid since her marriage to 48-year-old Belafonte collapsed. In a new interview, Mel has claimed Belafonte had control of her finances during the course of their marriage, and it is reported she was left with just £700 in the bank when the marriage collapsed. Mel has said she was so sure Belafonte would be taking care of their finances that she didn't have a credit card, and only recently became aware that services such as Amazon exist. In the interview, in which Mel makes repeated reference to being in an abusive relationship, and also that the relationship included financial abuse, she says she has been rebuilding her life after moving back to the UK and in with her mother, Andrea Brown. Mel explained that she moved into her mum's bungalow and shared a bed with three of her kids. Having managed to rebuild a career which includes judging roles on the Australian version of The Masked Singer and being a judge on America's Got Talent, Mel has now managed to buy herself a new home in West Yorkshire. Reflecting on the financial difficulties she experienced and the alleged financial abuse during her marriage, Mel told The Sun, I would say to people, do you know there is this service called Amazon that delivers to your door? And they would be like, of course. But I didn't have access to a credit card during my relationship and was working 24-7. She also said that returning to the UK during the pandemic offered her a new sense of freedom as she was able to go out shopping while wearing a mask and not be recognised. This allowed her to reconnect with reality. She explained, in LA I hadn't bought a pint of milk in years. But back home I would buy in bulk from Costco and got really into shopping in Aldi and Lidl. It was Covid times and I would put on my face mask and no one would recognize me. I stood in a queue for the first time in a long time. No one batted an eyelid. After being in an abusive relationship for years you really have to rebuild yourself inside and out. Nobody can do that apart from you. Having to budget and learn how much a packet of crisps costs again kind of felt like me reclaiming my power. I felt I went back to my Leeds roots, and I have never forgotten where I came from. Mel has been a patron for Women's Aid since 2018. This year, she is campaigning with the charity to make solving domestic abuse and giving support to victims a key issue in the upcoming 2024 general election. She said in a statement issued by the charity, No matter which political party you are in, I'm asking you for your commitment today that domestic abuse is an issue you will prioritize. The Mirror have contacted a representative of Belafonte for comment. For confidential support, call the 24-hour National Domestic Abuse Frafone Helpline on 0808-2000-247 or visit Women Said. Co.uk If you or your family have lost a friend or family member through fatal domestic abuse, OFDA, advocacy after fatal domestic abuse, can offer specialist and expert support and advocacy. For more info visit www.ofda.org.uk.